Welcome to the Mint Report, a wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. Inflation remains stubbornly high. Glenmark announces lucrative deal. And markets begin the week in the red. Inflation isn't going away. New figures show the wholesale price index has eased last month but not by a wide margin. In April, the index rose 8.66% on a year-on-year basis. The revised figure for March is a little over 9%. Monday's inflation numbers are higher than most expectations. Analyst polls specced the WPI for April at about 8.5%. What's more, the rise in petrol prices is all set to stoke inflation further in the coming months. And not surprisingly, India's finance minister has warned inflation could remain high. In a statement, Pranab Mukherjee said that besides the rise in fuel prices, increasing costs of raw materials would make goods more expensive. He added these factors could make it impossible to achieve 9% growth this fiscal. Moving on, there's change at the top in BPO company Genpact. On Monday, it announced its current CEO, Pramod Basin, was quitting his post and his membership of the board. He'll be replaced by current CEO N.V. Tyagarajan, who will take over on the 17th of June. Also on Monday, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals has struck a lucrative deal. It has sold Francis Sanofi the rights to develop and commercialize a new formulation. The drug in question will be used to treat Crohn's disease and multiple sclerosis. Sanofi will pay Glenmark $50 million outright. Meanwhile, Glenmark CEO Glenn Saldana says the agreement could generate more than $600 million if the formulation meets some targets. Shares of Glenmark rocketed up 11.5% on the BSE to 306 rupees. An Indian market stumbled on Monday in reaction to inflation figures and poor global queues. The Sensex plunged 186 points to 18,345 and the Nifty declined 46 to 5,499. Financials lost in a big way over fears that stubborn inflation would prompt higher interest rates. Mortgage lender HDFC fell 2% on the BSE to 634 rupees. And ICICI Bank plummeted 1.7% to 1,057. SBI, meanwhile, retreated 1.2% to 2,617. And rising fuel prices sent some auto stocks downhill. Mahindra and Mahindra ended the day 2.71% lower on the BSE at 673, and Bajaj Auto went down 2.72% by the end of trade. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.